In this video, we'll talk about how to use the Amazon Seller Reviews and Ratings features. Stay tuned. If you're a pro user and you've processed the list, you'll see icons like this for Amazon Seller Reviews and Ratings. If you're not a pro user, you will see a Get Pro icon for these columns and if you click the Get Pro link, it will take you directly to our checkout so you can get the Pro version and have access to this data. Once you have Pro and you've processed the list, you'll see these icons. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is narrow down your list. Since this list has over 8,000 products, I really don't need to waste time processing all of these products for Amazon seller reviews and ratings, since for me, it's really irrelevant if Amazon is a seller on a product that has negative 143% ROI, for example, like this product here. So the first thing you wanna do in order to save time is you want to narrow your list to a short list, and we're gonna do that now. So you can do that very quickly by using our pre, um, preset grid views, or you can do it manually and save your own grid view. And I'm gonna go through a manual process right now just to show you the full extent of how this, these features work. So first thing I wanna do is narrow down by sales rank. So I'm gonna hover here and select less than or equal to, and I'm gonna say 100,000. I'm just gonna pick some random numbers here just for demonstration purposes. I'm then going to filter by profit. I wanna see profits that are greater than or equal to, let's say $5. You can see it's filtering live and it's quickly taking a very big list and making it a, sh a much shorter uh, much, much shorter list. I will then look at my ROI and let's say we want ROI that's greater than or equal to, or you know what, let's do an in-between. So we want ROI between 50% and 150%. As you can see, that quickly narrowed down my list and I'm ready to process my Amazon seller reviews and ratings columns. I'm simply going to select all, although I can also select individual products, but for this example, I will select all, click the multi-select action button, and select show reviews and Amazon data. When this is processing, you will see the little spinners in each cell for each column. This process takes a little bit of time, which is why I recommend strongly that you filter your list down to a very short list, only the products that you're truly considering, and then use the Amazon seller and review and ratings processing uh, feature. You can see it processed my short list pretty quickly, and now I can go ahead and filter by Amazon seller. I can select here to see only those that are not sold by Amazon. And I've quickly filtered my list to only the profitable products that I like, that I want to look at further, and only those that are not competing with amazon.com as a seller. Now, if you have a list like this one, I've just cleared all my filters and you have an 8,000 uh, product list and you try to select all and then go in here and click this, we're gonna show you this notification to let you know that it is strongly recommended prior to processing to watch this video, the video you're watching right now so that we could explain the fact that filtering your list is strongly recommended. The reason is if I process 8,000 products right now, it's going to take a very long time 
And it's just not an efficient use of time since I won't care if Amazon is a seller if I'm never going to consider the product due to its ROI, its profit, its sales rank, or whatever other filtering criteria you may have. I hope this helps explain the feature. If you have any questions, please let me know. You could reach me at uh, on our website at analyzer.tools or our email address support at analyzer.tools.